But it looks like they're off. QT is off. And there goes SC. It begins. And I think they are both opting to use seven players here. And then very likely attempting a seven man on key contract as well, I would say. Pretty reasonable. Yep, absolutely. In fact, I'd probably say seven man here is harder than seven man keep construct. Yeah, because there is quite a lot of trash that's just going to come surging at you constantly. Mostly digging a hole, players. Wow. <laughs> nice bully. That is pretty toxic, I have to say. How could you even say such a thing, Brazil? Imagine if they heard you. They'd be really sad. Good, I hope they did hear me. That's motivation to get better next time. Get good. Get Nike good. Nike actually, Nike has a video on how to get good if you want to link it to them. They no. might be able to use it. I don't, I don't want to promote anything. You don't want to promote any elitism? Oh, all right. The only thing I'm going to promote is the shared inventory slots that are available in the gym store right now. Oh, those are so good. They are extreme value. Goku only has one, so if you guys could gift him, all the viewers could. Oh, I mean, maybe he doesn't need anything else though, other than the, the axe. Have you considered that? Buy those, buy those lovely gyms. I have mm -hmm. max shared inventory slots, and they're wonderful. I couldn't seen, live without them. If you've seen Goku solo in a raw path, you know oh! there's a lot. Was that a wipe on QT's side? Really? Yep. Oh yeah, no, that is not oh, a good start. No. I guess they had uh, trouble, or the Mesmer had trouble making it through the cave. That is not that. an ideal start, unfortunately, for QT. I mean, of all the matches where you lose time, you do not want to be losing time in this particular one at all. It's a pretty decent lead for SC right now, who are just going to be using a pretty uh, standard portal tactic where they portal most of the team up there just to insta-cap the tower and then simply descend again as they are now moving on to getting Glenet to that second circle to cap that tower. And it's looking like this is, uh, well, it's looking like that uh, third, all those three daily chests, it's all lining up for, uh, all lining up for SC right now. QT <laughs> also seems to be using an engineer. I think I see a grenade kit. Uh, that will be presumably for the uh, the vicious dogs that will be chasing Glenna down. Yes, to slow it down with chill. Well, let's see, can they catch up though? I mean, what kind of strategy could they be using that would be so efficient that they'll be able to catch up here? I think it is a pretty difficult task here for QT. They do like they're they do look like they're in a pretty good position so far though. To hmm. be quite honest. Yeah, they're not they're not that far behind. If you're gonna wipe early, it's or if you're gonna wipe, it's better to wipe early than late. So, get it out of your system now. Uh. Unfortunately, the time will not be running because of all the issues with my with the stream not loading. But uh, in the uh, vods on YouTube, I will add a timer so we can actually get the time here as well. No, stop it. It's okay, don't worry team, we always have the backup. P more people go to Fennec stream, please, so we can get quality options. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Help me out, guys, okay? Can we can we, can we we divert some of these viewers over to Fennec, please? Go on, show this guy some love. He's, he, come on, he is the DPS benchmark. Let's, come on, let's help out here. Oh, a wipe! Oh, no! <laughs> no, no! Back and forth. No! <laughs> this one's harder, harder than Keep Construct's going to be. Oh, no! And now... No, S. Well, I mean, SC. That wipe is far worse for them, unfortunately, because they were quite a bit further through the event, and now QT suddenly quite far ahead here, already moving towards that fourth circle to get up to that tower and cap it. QT or Snowcrow's getting the shovels out. I think there oh, might be. Ready. You think they might be digging a hole? That, that that that's the new meme. They've got the shovels. <laughs> The real question is, will Quantify wipe <laughs> at some point? <laughs> and then the pendulum will swing back once more, perhaps. I mean, what's the over-under on the betting for glider-related wipes at Zera? Ooh. Well, I, I would imagine that both of these teams will attempt to bug as many people as possible, right? 
I don't or know how. They could do the engineer strategy. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, yeah the don't actually do anything strategy. But you you will actually have to kill the shards. So they don't really have a choice there for all of their players. You see, Fennec feared all the way into the back of the run, presumably by a cultist. Those are very irritating mobs to deal yeah. with. They really, really are. I mean, all the mobs here are designed to be as annoying as possible at the end of the day. Uh, they will fear you, they'll knock you around, they put blind fields down, they have the ability to block and heal themselves. All very, very irritating parts of this fight to deal with. I mean, and that is only magnified by the lack of players as well. Yeah, and uh, interesting to notice, Snowcrow is going with a six-man. Yeah. Not a seven, so I guess they want the extra person at Keep Construct. That, and Tenet Zero. Uh, that could be quite punishing for them, uh, as it has kind of worked out that way so far. Not exactly working out for them. And QT are actually on the final stretch right now, and then they will be able to spawn the mini boss McLeod. And, oh well, he's not exactly a challenge, is he? Just bop him, and we're good to go. Yes, the final boss of this event is not very difficult to deal with the hardest part of him honestly is just the rng he does spawn he seems to target the furthest person away and he does split up and form into two smaller mobs each of them are only damageable by players that have a buff that corresponds with the mob's color and depending on where those mobs spawn what they aggro to if they aggro to pets they can be a little difficult to control and deal with. Here we go, the boss has been spawned for QT. Here he comes. Uh, looks like I think he did actually end up teleporting up to the tower by the looks of that. Very annoying. It is difficult to make him not do that, in fairness. And they have to just jump around. Waiting for him to come down. Here he is. And they are just going to fight him on spawn, actually. They're not going to lure him to the gate at all. They're just going to keep him in the middle where his little thingies will spawn and hopefully nuke them down as fast as possible. But snow crows are quite a bit far behind here. And the thing is, with the, uh, well, with the next bosses, well, they will get that extra predator on keep construct. It will certainly make the run a little bit more secure and a bit safer because of that extra player, but it won't necessarily make it a whole lot faster due to the nature of the fight itself. Maybe they feel they can skip an orb or something. Yeah, they would have to do four orbs, most likely, to make mm. up any sort of time with that. We'll have to see if that will actually be enough. But it does look like QT is moving very quickly through McLeod. Mm. Yeah, he's, his health bar, it doesn't really have a lot of HP in it, but it is getting demolished very quickly even by the meager amount of players that Cornify have here. You see two dogs actually up at once. <laughs> yes. And something worth Maybe. noting, I think they might get the achievement guys here with a seven man. Quite commendable. You can still see that icon there in... Uh, Phoenix effect bar, both of them in fact, so no one died to mines and no one <laughs> has been uh, chased down by the wargs, which is kind of what the achievement, the roleplay achievement is. There we go, that's the remainder of his health. That's basically it. And there QT will be moving on to quantify. What QT will be moving on to quantify to keep quantify <laughs> construct. Quantify it's snow construct, actually. Uh and there we go. Just luring Glenna into the circle. She will demolish the gate and they will move on. There is a little bit of role playing uh, in between uh, this and the boss itself. You have to wait for it to spawn and Zara to be all threatening and scary. But then they will just get cracking and destroy the boss. Everyone equipping their impact sigils. Yep. For that extra it's 10%. very important. And of course we see the Tempest defense there as well. On the move, skill swapping, some true elitism, and they actually have plenty of time to do this because they have to wait for the boss to spawn, in fact. Which can take a little while. Uh, Snow Crows definitely progressing towards the end of the event. They're on that last circle, and then they can begin fighting the boss. And that could be pretty good for them. But they do have a little bit of time to catch up here. 
Let's see if uh, Quantify can survive the keep construct. I have talked with them, uh, and in fact played uh, this boss with them, and they are, well, they, they are quite scared of the last phase, when uh, if you get circles, they don't really know what to do, and they just end up dying sometimes. Let's see if that happens. Let's see how fortunate these teams are. Okay, guys, what's the predictions? How many circles will there be in this fight? Three. All of them. You think the worst, worst case scenario? Three. Definitely three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if that pans out. Which mechanic? Oh, they don't really matter on this first phase because the spirits can be killed so quickly that you can just skip it anyway. But on that last phase is where some problems can happen. It is going to be circles. We're looking good. One. One. Will there we go. The circle? They do. Yeah, they will go for it there. Spirit has been destroyed. Hmm. I don't think they would ever really play it safe because they were. They the spirit was down with very very good time there. They wouldn't have any issues there in destroying that thing. And I think right now they probably could afford one wipe, just maybe due to YOLO strats, because Q Snowcrows is still a little bit behind, still dealing with McLeod. They have not quite gotten to keep Construct yet. Mm. And in addition to that, there is a bit of dialogue as well uh, during that middle part. So there is some extra time there. And how many orbs did uh, Quantify go for there? That was didn't that look like five? I don't think it was five. Was it four? I can't really see. I can't see Spenix stream well enough, no. quality-wise, to see how many... Does, it does look like they're having a little bit of trouble with DPS, though. Yeah, that was not five. Okay, good news. I've got another stream uh, for this uh -oh. boss. We have Haters. He has come to the rescue for it. Apparently, I can actually watch his stream, it seems. Uh, and there we go. They are going to YOLO through that break bar. Oh, yeah, just managed to do it, but... They uh, didn't manage to phase him there, unfortunately. One orb. Yeah. One orb? Oh, they failed. That's why they didn't have enough damage. So they're going to have to probably go for one or two here. Oh my goodness! What? Has Snowcrow's wiped again? You've got to be kidding me now. They're just, they're just swapping. Purpose. They're just swapping, right? Okay. I hope so. No, he, he's GGing, so he can swap okay. over. So Excellent. they can have a smoother Excellent. transition. No, no, no. He scared me there. Uh, I just saw deaths coming <laughs> yeah. out all of a sudden. Maybe they're just over for some speedy swapping here. Uh, <laughs> so they can try and get back as much time as they can. There is the respawn from Goku. Don't be afraid for the Twitch chat. <laughs> We're good to go. And Quantify. Do make it to the orb phase. Better collect up some of these. And we see a Hammer Guardian as well, just to put some support and protection down. And obviously having a Guardian, well a Dragon Hunter in particular, on the Keep Construct is very, very advantageous. Not only because of the Banish on the Hammer, but also the uh, amazing power of the F1. Very, very handy for pulling uh, the core into those rifts very, very quickly. As it can actually do it in one go, unlike most other pulls that actually kind of don't make it all on their own. The Dragon Hunter F1 will just go ahead and pull it immediately, which is very, very helpful. It can save a good chunk of time on that uh, core rift phase. And Snowcrows has begun the keep construct themselves. You can take a look at the health bars of the two bosses and just see exactly how far behind they are. Mm. And, well, it's maybe even more than you might think because there is uh, there are several little time gates within this fight as well that there is no real way to accelerate as well. So QT with a good lead, but oh, three oh. circles, really? This is insane. This Brazil was right. They got a break bar quick. Break yeah, it. yeah. That oh, man, that whew. was close. That really was, was pretty really close there. You Brazil was always right. That is three. But bear in mind, you could still be wrong. There might be four. <laughs> That's that's actually correct. Yeah, yeah. I was, no, I was thinking cool. of saying four. Wait, will we even see a single spirit uh, spirit spawn here? Because they all these girls are so unlucky right now. Not even one easy phase so far for these players. Let's see and QT. Let's see if they can have a bit of more luck with the orbs. They do have a down. Hopefully. Oh, no! oh no! Is that zero or is that one? It's not looking oh. good. Oh wait, no, that was no. They were fine actually. I'm, I'm, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. Fi it's clown fiesta. I think I should be good to go though. Can I get oh, to 30 30 30. 30 30. Yeah, it's looking fairly close. Yep, they do get it. Fairly close, and then we go into another raw phase. 
Let's have a look at what snow crows are doing. Will they be able to succeed in their burn? It is looking likely. There it is. They do get it first try. So they have actually gained a little bit of time there as QT were forced to do two phases for the first 33%. I'm curious to see if we'll have any wipes in the Twisted Castle. That would be... That, that event has a lot of potential to go wrong. Because the mobs, the mechanic with the statues is not very consistent. Yeah. You know, and my guess would be that the teams are going to... One of their dead people or one of their alts are going to come in uh, on Mesmer and they're going to have double portal play to make it as, as fast and easy as I, possible. I would anticipate so. Mm. There are a lot of skips you can do on the Twisted Castle. It's good. I really wish we had more perspectives, honestly, because we could see just kind of the depths of the exploits these players are going to. We do see the classic FGS oh, exploit. Does it get red circle. circles again? Oh no, four circles! That is unbelievable. The QT are so unlucky. <laughs> I believe that's a 1 in 16 chance. Spirits, spirits for Snowcrows, actually. That also helps with the speed. Yeah. So that could help them come back into this, going into Twizzle Castle and then Zera. Fennec pulling out a little bit to get the spirit away. And then circles again, but this one won't be a problem for them. Yeah. They'll be able to break the bar and very, very simple. get to the final burn phase. And, they should and now it's a matter of whether they can get four or five orbs in. Yeah. With Bolt to the Heart, they should have no problem maybe doing it with with four four or this this time. It's looking pretty good here. For corner fight. Looks like they will be able to go for it. They do push it out and that should be it. Oh. And we see that HP just dropping yeah, away look very, at it, Mel. very fast. It is completely getting destroyed here, and I think they should. Meteors. Yes, oh, they should have no problem in killing him, and he has just had a few slivers of health remaining, and that is it. Quantify have defeated the Keep Construct, and then we'll now move on to navigating the terrifying Twisted Castle, even stopping to pick up the event rewards. All 10, that is correct, as they will be using 10 for Zera. They are allowed 10 for the Twisted Castle. Let's see how quickly they can get this done. I believe they actually have an extremely fast clear of this in uh, as a YouTube video, I believe in about a minute or so. So let's see if they're going to be able to replicate that here. There we go. This really should not take them very long at all. Will, I'm, I think they will be using the portal strat. Here we go. This is very, very commonly used strategy uh, by, well, I, I would say most people at this point, you simply take the falling damage trait or actually just dodge roll down, portal your team down, and you can skip a good chunk of the castle. And it's just a case of cleaning up these trash mobs, not getting teleported by the statues, which can be incredibly annoying, seeing as they really don't care if you're looking at them or not sometimes. And that orb body block phase for Snow Crows must have just felt so long, that time gain. Mm. When when you're when you know you're a little bit behind and you need to make up time and then you're just stuck behind a time gate, it's gotta uh. it's gotta feel just every second painful. We see a GG from Phoenix, so he can switch gear here. Yep, gonna switch to fresh air staff for Zara. Oh, Haters getting teleported there. Unfortunately, no one was looking at the spirit, but I doubt that matters at all at this point. They have more or less made it to the end. And it will very shortly be... In fact, that may have in fact been deliberate. He's going to go for a swap. Uh, I guess he would he just need to swap one thing, so I guess it's not really a, a big problem. There we and go. There we go. They have made it through and will now commence Zera, I would imagine, with 10 Snow people. About, Snow Crow's almost to the final burn of KC the orbs in for the last time. And the Zera fight has begun. I don't really expect any clowning from these guilds on these uh, first two or, uh, first two platforms. They are uh, jokingly referred to as being actually harder than the boss itself, which is sometimes not really wrong. <laughs> but I don't think uh, I don't think Quantify are going to be struggling wrong. with that at all. Wrong. 
wrong. And we're just going to go back to a slightly larger view of Snowcrows to see them finish off the Keep Construct. There it is, and they will be moving on to the Twisted Castle momentarily. And there it is. They have got that job done, but they have quite a deficit to make up here as Quantify are actually very shortly going to be moving on to the main fight with Zara. We see FGS still on the bar for Fennec. No rebound. Uh, no, he's not going to. What a strategy. Well, well, Fresh Air Staff, they're going to use FGS to overload air for Mega DPS. Mm. Mm. And they're very, very confident in their ability to maybe not even require rebound potentially. Yeah, if you can, if your Ellie's can keep quickness uh, for the second tower, then you should have no problem killing it with, without rotating. Oh. And not really a surprise, we are going to be seeing the on-spot strategy almost certainly here uh, for Quantify. The thing to look for is if they can get Zara to 76% before the laser uh, starts shooting red orbs at them and, and nuking them. Well, Should have no problem doing it. Uh, it's fairly consistent with good DPS, but if you get free casted on by the adds, that can ruin your Scholar buff and cause downs and... I think there it is. Not quite as fun. I believe they have succeeded. Yep, they absolutely have. Let's see. Special action hotkey. Will it happen? I believe they are delaying it for a good chunk of time because that will actually prevent things from happening. Uh, the boss will not do things as often. I believe shards don't spawn or something. If you hold yeah, that for as long shard, as possible. Shard progression around the arena goes slower. Uh, well, let's see. The real question is, when we get to 50% very, very shortly for QT, will anyone die to the gliding? Arguably the real boss on Zera. Very, very good DPS coming out. Yeah, this is Extremely a really... Quick. Yeah, this is a great yeah. kill from QT. I don't see the timer. I can't, t I can't make it out, but that seemed to probably be close to... It was around 8.30, wasn't it? Oh, maybe, maybe even quicker than that, actually. I can't really see it. With my potato internet, someone in Twitch chat let us know what was that timer at so we can see just how elitist and delusional Quantify are when it comes to Zera. My guess would be very much so. 8.30. 8.30. Yeah, it's very, very impressive. Very, very, very speedy. Yeah. Very, very speedy. Close yeah, no to... Uh, no crows will get to do it themselves. Yeah. Goku switch to con DPS. I think that's a very strong option on Zara. You get a lot of extra cleave, which can help with a whole bunch of stuff. Yep, and you can stand on the button for the for yep. these parts, which, which can certainly is. simplify things, especially if a weird combination of people get teleported in the second phase or other last phase. There is still potential for Quantify to wipe, because this is where the tactic actually becomes a little bit more risky, as they will not be able to simply keep her in one place. And so they... People. Also, catching and... up to the ribbons on the platform, very, very funny to see. Yeah. Too much DPS. <laughs> Too much DPS. <laughs> Too fast, eh? Oh, wow, look at that YOLO glide there, fortunately with the bug. So, the hilarious jetpack bug. So that will simply cause them to be teleported back up. Really not an issue there. And One will... thing I, I find pretty interesting about their comps is both of them have done a record run for this boss recently and used four Ellie's and it does appear that both guilds have decided to use a guardian uh, for the a little bit of extra safety versus speed. I think that's really sensible here because this last phase can get very, very tricky and a little bit volatile as well if you're not careful. There's just so many things that can just instantly kill an entire group with just pretty much no mercy. The adds, too many adds casting that deadly AoE or a, a miss, um, you know, a slightly misdirected blurred frenzy, and it's over with this strategy. With where she may get buffed for short periods of time. And now we see the red orbs coming in for Quantify while the team is teleported to the other side. A, a rather slow teleport, too. They haven't successfully dealt with that first tower as efficiently as you'd see in a record kill. Oh, actually, a few orbs being tanked by QT as well. Not exactly ideal. The classic salt strategy. There. Yeah, what to eat all the orbs, yeah. Eat the orbs to send the conditions back with a Condi Necromancer. <laughs> That's very. That's, that's. I believe that's how it goes. There. <laughs> that's a solid strategy. 
And it's quantifies one more teleport, and then it'll be pure DPS from here on out. And here it comes. This is pretty much that moment where things can go wrong, but I think they're actually in a great position with regards to how the shards are spawning around the map. So if they deal with this effectively, they should be in a pretty decent situation just to actually finish the boss off. Oh, they will go for a rotation here, just to make sure none of them die. Very sensible, just playing it safe. They need to get back quickly so they can get in that dome of safety. There's, yes, there's going to be another ultimate power, and if... Oh, are they, they going to make it? Not... Yep. They are, and I think Zera will be dying. That's yeah, that's Quantify basically it. Gonna take it. Yeah, Quantify will win in just a few moments here versus Snowcrows. Both a bit of a clown fiesta on Escort, but other than that... Very, very clean indeed, and that is it. Quantify have taken this game, and they are actually, in fact, going to be moving on to the grand final right ahead, and Snowcrows will have to descend to the lower bracket and see if they can make it, uh, make it back up to that grand final.